Shalom. Call Halal. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akiam and to the Akwaf, that'll be you brothers and sisters. Adawan Ratazah. That is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson you'll be edified. This is your brother, Amawan Ibad, back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Wah, Yahweh Shai. And um, today's going to be a um, short lesson um, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know. That's rolling in the spirit. It's all, all the spirit. You know, whatever comes to mind, I'll speak on. So with that, um, yeah. Where do I start? Yeah, you know what I mean. There's a whole lot going on, man. There's a whole lot of stuff going on in the world today. You know, and we gotta, we gotta, we gotta keep our eyes single, man. Keep our eyes on the prize. You got to do whatever it takes to endure. You know, the scriptures speak about enduring. You know, the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter, the 13th verse, it says, he, he that endured to the end, the same shall be saved. Okay, so your mind should be on, 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 on salvation, man. Nothing worth is worth more than salvation. Our Lord say, um, you know, hold fast that which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. You know, meaning this knowledge, this truth. What we believe in, Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, you have to, we have to hold fast. You know, that no man take your crown. You know, meaning anybody, your family member. You know, friend, foe, demons, devil. You know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you have to endure, man. You have to. You're going to have to go gird up your loins, as the scriptures say, you know, and be a man. And, uh, you know, keep your head submerged in the scriptures, you know, and um, hasten, you know, the coming of the day of the Lord. You're going to have to do it. Look what's going on in this world today, man. You know, the scriptures say to give diligence to make your calling an election sure. You know, I don't want Rataza. I'm a part of that precious number, and I do pray for brothers and the few sisters that believe in this truth, in truth and sincerity, that believes on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know? But um, we in that time, man, we, you know, the scriptures speak of um, um, perilous times in the end, you know? The book of 2 Timothy, the third chapter, the first verse, and you can see uh, things getting tightened up, man, you know? They're talking about. Um, you know, this administration talking about door to door, going door to door, you know, to convince people to get a jab. And, you know, ultimately, you know, they're just talking right now. You know, you know, the devil operates with a forked tongue, you know. So right now it's just talk. Ultimately, it's going to be draconian laws, legislation passed, you know. The scriptures speak about, you know, he calls it all about uh, great and small, you know, to receive a mark. Let me get that. Let me just go to it and get it, you know, Revelation. Because ultimately, this is where it all headed, man. The scripture prophesied these things. These things are in the scriptures. Okay, this is part of the prophecies. Revelation, the 13th chapter, beginning at the 16th verse. Because this is where we headed at, man. It says, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to, to receive a mark. When you go into this word mark, it is karagma in the Greek, which is an implant, an incision, or an engravement, which is, which is something physical. And we believe it to be the, RF, the RFID microchip, an implant. Okay? So we believe it to be the MOB. Okay? Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16, it says, And he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark 
in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark, that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay? It says, Here is wisdom. Let him that had understanding call the number of the beast, but it's the number of a man. And that man is being revealed right now. And his number is 603 score and 6. Okay? Which is 666. Right? So the mind of sin is being revealed, man. It's the time that you live in it. That's why the book of um, uh, Jeremiah, the 49th chapter, the 10th verse says, I've made Esau bare. Okay? This man is being made bare and, sh and shameful spewing is on his glory. It tells you that I have a cook the second chapter and the 16th verse. Okay? But let's... Uh, Let's go to Second Thessalonians. Uh, Second Thessalonians. Let's speak about it being revealed. It says Second Thessalonians chapter three and verse chapter two and verse three. It says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. That day is talking about the day of the Lord. Except there come a falling away first. And that happened to us. We lose our heritage. According to Jeremiah the 17th chapter and the 4th verse. It says and that the man of sin be revealed. Okay. Which is Esau, Edom, the wicked. The man of sin. And that the man of sin be revealed. The son of perdition. This word we're going to read to perdition. It means destruction. It says who opposed and exalted himself above all. That is called God or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitting in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. So he have a he has he has a God complex. Okay? And ultimately he wanna put that all in you. You know, that all <clears throat> when you read uh Exodus the twenty first chapter, it speaks about the all. Right? So this this guy really wanna he wanna own you. He wanna see everything that you do. He wanna he wanna play he wanna play God. Okay? When you read Ezekiel the twenty eighth chapter, it says it says he he's a man and not God. Okay? He saw Edom as a man, he's not God. Alright? But um hey, these times we gotta fortify our mind, man. You know, scriptures say to uh, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. You know, because the things that are coming on the earth, the scripture speaks about mankind's, man, 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 man hearts failing them for the things that are coming on the earth. You know, drastic times are, 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 are ahead, man. Scripture speaks about tribulation, great tribulation, Jacob's trouble. You know, Jeremiah 30 and 7 speaks about a time of trouble. So you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, so-called, whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you're the Israelites. And it speaks of a time of trouble for you. Okay? And the only hedge of protection you're going to have is those of you that believe in and worship and praise and doing the work of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. All right? So you're going you're gonna to need a hedge, a hedge of protection. The scripture says... Psalms 34 and 7. Uh, the angel of the Lord encampeth round about those that fear him and delivereth them. You know? So you have to you have to you have to fear the Lord. That's the beginning, that's the beginning of wisdom. And that's also the whole duty of mankind. It tells you that in Ecclesiastes the twelfth chapter and the thirteenth verse. So that's that's I said, brother, it's just a, um, a short exhort exhortation to the hopeful elect, you know, to feed the lambs, you know. So keep pushing, keep enduring, keep the faith and fight the good fight of faith. You know, we almost out here. I don't want to Until the next time, Shalom.